Hi everyone, this is Jan, and I just wanted to do a quick review on these water-soluble oils. I've seen a lot of people use them, and painting with Yvonne, or Yovette, um, she does a lot of your water-mixable oils. Now, I used to paint in oils uh, 50 years ago because they didn't have bottled acrylics back then, and everybody painted in oils. And I haven't picked up oils in uh, probably about three years. Uh, but I know I had, um, when I started doing Donna Dewberry's uh, paintings and DVDs and things like that, I noticed that they used to carry a brand called uh, With Oil. This right here. And before I knew they didn't make this anymore, I bought a little kit and uh, it had brushes and stuff in it and several paints. But Donna also has some videos. She probably has about five, five or six um, videos that you can get that show you how to use these water soluble oils. So anyway, what I did was I went ahead and being the kit was pretty old, um, I went ahead and bought another kit that had like 10 oils in it. Uh, I bought the Artisans, the Windsor Newton Artisan Water Mixable Oil color. Make sure it says that before you buy it. And I wanted to see how well it cleaned up with water because I didn't like using the turps and the oil paints. You know, they really have a lot of solvent in it, uh, linseed oil, that sort of thing. And it was pretty strong. So I wanted to see if I switched to the water mixable, if it wouldn't be quite as strong and it wouldn't just um, drive you out of the room if you had your painting drying. So I'm very pleased with these water mixable oils. Uh, the cleanup, I still use uh, my old Bob Ross brushes, uh, which are natural bristle. I use two brushes for this little painting. And they're um, both natural uh, bristle brushes. I think this is uh, called a mongoose. Uh, they're very good, very soft, but now they have synthetic brushes you can use uh, to do your little paintings with. The paints, I just put my paints on a workable palette. This is just a little 9 by 12 disposable palette. Now these have been out a whole day, and I started this yesterday, and I came back to it this morning and all the paints are still, they're still fine and they're just out in the open here. Now when you clean up, like when I'm, I'm painting and then I want to clean my brush, what I do is I wipe it on uh, one of these shop towels here. I keep a shop towel, wipe it on that first and then I have a little jar of water here. And this is uh, like the Mona Lisa cleaning tank, and it has a little scrub deal on it. And you can empty this each day that you use it. It's just water in here. And what I do is I go ahead and clean the brush in water when I'm changing colors, if I don't want to use a dirty brush. And then I just blot it on the paper towel, and I go into another color. It does a really nice job of cleaning off your brush when you're changing colors. Now, when you want to, uh, when you're finished painting and you want to clean that brush again, you have to clean it again because remember, these are oils. Then I go ahead and I have um, the Master's Hand Soap and I just have this in a little soap dish and I just go ahead and go back and forth on that soap dish and then I mix it into my bristles and then pull it out and then rinse it off and then reshape take the excess water off and reshape it into a nice little chisel there 
and then that brush is clean. Now if you don't have this this hand soap, I've used this hand soap for 50 years and it does a great job even on regular oils. I would clean my brushes with it. You can also use uh, Dawn uh, dish soap. It will cut the grease. Just remember your oils do have linseed oil in it so it's it's a greasy type substance. It doesn't get off with just uh, um, just the water. You can't clean your brushes with just water and then set your brushes aside. You have to clean them in something that will cut the grease uh, for the oil paints. But yes, I'm very pleased with these. This little painting, I'm curious to see how long it's going to take to dry. Uh, when I came back, now the background, it's tacky. And I did that yesterday. So you can see a little bit of pain on my finger. So it's tacky. I'm thinking it will probably take about a week for this to dry. To where if you paint thicker, it's going to take months to dry. And that doesn't dry fully. Uh, some paintings, depending on how thick you paint, can take up to a year before you can varnish them. But they'll be dry to touch. And um, so you, this is just a, a different avenue you might enjoy uh, painting. I know a lot of Donna students have these uh, with oil paints and um, they quit making them. So they're kind of stuck with all these supplies, you know, that they had. And they're not for sure what to do with them. So um, heck, I would just go ahead and, and paint up you know your little paintings and uh, do them small you don't have to do them big and just uh, paint them uh, thinner um, I use now if you use the oil now this came in my kit this is the water mixable linseed oil I'm not using regular linseed oil like you would use with your regular oils. This is for water mix. So whenever I'm thinning my color, I use the linseed oil here for water mixable oils. Now you can use the water to uh, thin your paint and then do kind of like a little watercolor type painting and your uh, work would dry a lot faster. I haven't tried that yet, but I might give it a whirl. But just so far, I've just used the linseed oil because I like to do wet and wet and I like everything a little slick. So you can see how the oils are a little different than the acrylics. Um, I can get a real transparent edge on here. Uh, like I say, this this background and everything was on here yesterday and I came back this morning and I could still paint transparent petals on this because this was still wet. So one of the benefits I really like in oils is that I get to piddle with it and I can play with it and it's not going to dry. I can come back tomorrow and I can still change some of this. It'll be wet enough for me to change it. In other words, I don't feel like I have to paint real, real fast um, because it's going to dry up on me, but yet there's benefits of a fast dry time. So you kind of have to weigh the differences. So I like to piddle with both of them. If I want to sit down and I want to take my time and I want to piddle with, with painting, that sort of thing, I might paint with the water-based oils. If I want something really fast, then I can go ahead and paint with the acrylics. So anyway, that's my view on it. I really like them. Thank you, Yovette, for uh, mentioning these water-soluble oils. I tried them. I like them, and I will definitely be painting more paintings with them. So thank you so much. Everybody take care, and Bye for now.